my little bit of conspiracy theory here is that these strikes in Syria is Biden's attempt to wag the dog. He has had a terrible, awful first month in office. The first day, first day he's in office, he kills 10,000 jobs by canceling the Keystone Pipeline. What a moron. But that's something that the far left and most of his party wants. So I kind of knew that was going to happen. And I think anybody who voted for him in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Ohio, uh, any basically any of the Midwest states, I mean, if you voted for him and you didn't think he was going to do that, you're an idiot. So that's your own damn fault. However, I think this is, if, if I'm going to put my, my tinfoil hat on, this is him wagging the dog. It's not just him that has had a bad first month of his presidency. His party is having a terrible first month being in, in complete power of the elected branches. They, it's awful <laughs> how bad it is. So let's just start here. I mean, Anthony Cuomo, the governor of New York, motherfucker got an Emmy for, for his news briefings on COVID. And Hollywood said, oh, he is America's governor. He is... He gave us the leadership they weren't getting from the White House. He fucking killed Grandma. And they were complaining about killing Grandma. He killed Grandma. And at the same time he was killing Grandma and covering it up, he apparently <laughs> was sexually harassing female members of his staff. Now, when it comes to sexual harassment, sexual assault, things like that, I, I'm very hesitant to call somebody uh, a rapist or a sexual predator or anything like that because I first of all there have been too many hoaxes over the last you know at least especially since I got out of college there have been way too many hoaxes but at the same time it is such a it, it is it is such a horrible offense like a legit version of sexual harassment. And I don't mean just like maybe you said an inappropriate comment. I mean like you're touching and and you know physically getting involved with somebody who doesn't want it, obviously. Maybe they're married, maybe they have a long term relationship. You know this stuff. It's uh you know it I'm very hesitant on that. So we'll we'll stick with the allegedly for Cuomo. Um, sexually harass some some female staffers, but in you know it's really just because it's if you're going to accuse somebody of that, that is I mean that's worse than being you know that's worse than the racist label. I mean in in a lot of ways it's worse than the than the murder label. I mean it's it's really bad. So I'm, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. But these are two big scandals affecting the biggest figure the 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 most recognizable figure of the covid era in the democratic party it turns out he was horrible at his job he killed grandmas and covered it up and now you have two situations two women who have come forward and said that they were sexually harassed by him and you know that's a i mean that's something that you might want to get off the front pages i mean most of the democrat media like CNN and MSNBC haven't really covered it at all. Um, they're you know they're running the smokescreen for Cuomo and the Democrats, so they're doing their job. But it's not just Cuomo. Cuomo's not the only problem. Gavin Newsom's going to get recalled in California. I live in California. Gavin Newsom's going to get recalled. So there's going to be an election. Now, right now, based on what I'm seeing for polling data, Gavin Newsom would would not get would not actually get recalled he would not actually get kicked out of office but here's the thing is and especially since so many republicans have left the state it's you know it's gonna be kind of hard but leading up to an election there are going to be months of gavin newsom did this gavin newsom did this gavin newsom didn't do this remember gavin newsom also sent nursing home patients or recovering covid um people recovering from COVID back into nursing homes. So Gavin Newsom also did that. So Gavin Newsom has made 
a bunch of gaffes, a bunch of problems for himself during COVID. The day after he he told everybody to to stay home, you know, don't go out, and ordered restaurants to close down. He's seen with members of the California Health Board and his family at a a very fancy restaurant. Let's put it this way. I could not afford to take my wife there if I didn't save up for a few months at least. I couldn't take her there for our anniversary. And I'm just a regular guy doing a regular job making a, a regular amount of money. So it is a very high-class restaurant in the Bay Area. He, he was there with a whole bunch of people, no masks, nothing. So while he's locking down other people's businesses, while he's telling people to stay home, while he's telling people to wear a mask and do all these other stupid things for COVID, and one of these days I will go over COVID. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm trying to figure out how I want to really word it because COVID pisses me off in so many different ways. But while he's doing all that, you know, while he's telling all of us to do that, he's going to these fancy restaurants and and pretending that COVID doesn't exist. Same thing. Remember, Nancy Pelosi had the same thing. She got her hair done in violation of the, the California lockdown orders. You know, So you have plenty of uh, Democrat politicians who obviously don't think COVID is that big of a deal except to score political points. It's the whole reason they were able to beat Donald Trump in the last election. They would have got destroyed if it wasn't for COVID. So... So there's a lot of problems going on within the Democrats right now, and the media does want you to think that there's bigger problems with the Republican Party. That's not the case right now as far as scandals, because the Republican Party, they have an issue, and the issue is Trump. And it's how much do we accept Trump as part of the Republican Party? Is he is his style, is his, are his policies... Are they the future of the Republican Party? Or are they kind of this blip in the Republican Party? Or is there kind of a happy medium? So that's where the, the civil war is, civil war in the in the Republican Party. It's just it's basically how much are we going how much of Trumpism are we going to keep overall in the party and in the conservative movement in general? So remember, Trump was a Democrat until about ten years ago. So it it's not like he's this bastion of uh of conservative virtue however there are a lot of he did govern the country as conservatively as as i've ever seen in my lifetime at least so it's uh that's the civil war in that party but if like i said if i was to put my tinfoil hat on it wouldn't surprise me if joe biden legitimately launched these strikes in syria to kind of take the uh, the pressure off of his political party right now, to kind of move the the focus away from Andrew Cuomo killing grandma, Andrew Cuomo uh, potentially sexually harassing members of his female staff, and Gavin Newsom on the you know on the chopping block potentially for uh, for his job. So there's a lot going on right now, and these uh, these airstrikes don't. They don't seem right at this time. So, and the justification, while obviously you have to respond to the murder of a uh, an American contractor, there is something. The justification just doesn't seem right. So.